Okay, next guys, we have the two pack with LeBron and Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> okay guys, we got the Space Jam New Legacy action figures. Woo! We're ready to do some slamming and jamming. Yo, yo, yo. Guys, we have four single packs with just the individual action figures, and then we have four that have two action figures inside. Let's start with the singles. First, guys, we'll start with LeBron James. It says down at the bottom, LeBron James with Acme B-Ball Blocker, and there's a picture of him with his B-Ball Blocker. And if he doesn't block the ball going up with that thing, and he comes down on your B-Ball head, that's gonna be a B-Ball hurt. And then on the back, Okay, says, welcome to the jam. Basketball champion and cultural icon LeBron James goes on an epic adventure with Bugs Bunny and Looney Tunes in the animated slash live action event. Space Jam, a new legacy. And then it says, hey, collect them all. So there's a total of four you can collect. You have Marvin the Martian with the spaceship, LeBron James with Acme Rocket Pack 4000, and then LeBron James with Acme B-Ball Blocker, and then Bugs Bunny with Acme Blaster 3000. Why settle for less, Bugs? You're so much better than that. Like, go for 5,000, totally. <laughs> and then also available, which are the two action figures, Tasmanian Devil and the Brow, LeBron James and White Mamba, LeBron James and Kronos, and Lola Bunny and Wetfire. Cool, let's go ahead and open him up and just see how actionable he is. I got my Swiss Army knife. And as a toy collector, I'll try to do least amount of damage to the box when opening it up. And so I'm thinking to cut along the tape in the back. Okay, so far, ah, it's glued. We got glueage here. It's not going to be easy, guys. I just want to slice my finger. See, look at that. It's kind of tearing. It's glued right to the back of the box. Oh, well. You know what they say? If you're hurrying rip it off real fast, it'll make a clean rip. <laughs> That's all right, hey, we still got part of it, so if we just, you know, put it back up here and use a lot of glue and a lot of tape, it should be okay. <laughs> there goes that collector set, but hey, that's not about that. Not right now, I wanna have fun. Oh, and you got some sort of uh, little note in here. Dear Space Jam buyer, we like you. You know, it's got a picture of LeBron James, and then it tells you on the back how to connect the b-ball. I think I can do it without pictures. Oh man, he's glued in there pretty good. You'll probably have to poke with your thumb from behind to get the... Adventure Fun Dad gets off the table for two. That's pretty cool. It's got quite the bounce, guys. It's basketball. It's got a little hole in it. So the hole is going to go on the knobby thing on his hand. See his knobby hand? And that's that's how LeBron holds the ball. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it loose. It doesn't come loose. He's got some good grippage. And then he's got the smash in it, or it fits really well on his hand. And he's got a good grip. And maybe his hand back. Well, that's gotta hurt. Hey, he's well balanced now. That looks cute. And so maybe we can give him some, oh, maybe it's down more like this. And there we go. Okay, so that's down. So it doesn't say he's on the tune team, but hey, it shows that he's got tune-like equipment. Pretty cool. Next, the other LeBron. LeBron James with Acme Rocket Pack at 4,000. And you can see it's an attachable rocket. Oh, look at that, launching rocket. You can actually fire this at somebody. <laughs> well, that's the way to get the other team. Take out one of their players and only have four and then they're really weak. On the back, it's the same thing as the other one that we just went over. It shows you all the ones you can collect and a little synopsis there. So we'll just go ahead and open. I think I'm just gonna have to rip. There's just no real way, unless you wanna like use your thumb. And that's kind of a clean cut right there, guys. Oh, and then look at that. So if you just make the clean cut cut off the top just to use your thumb to press the box down just above the plastic here and then it flips open you don't have to tear anymore and then you can just sweet saving a collector's box or like whatever oh he's got his b-ball here so let's get that out first plasticky he's got a hole in it he's got his rocket launcher sweet Oh, now this one, he's got his tune jersey. He's in tune now. And he's got the protrusion from his hand so he can put the ball in there. Cool. He stands really good. He's got the rocket launcher on his back. Let's see, okay. And then this thing comes up, comes over, and you push him right to the back and he'll have to get rid of the basketball. It looks like, you know, he's holding on to this. So maybe we can bend his arms back just a little bit so he can grab that. His arms do bend at the elbow, super sweet. He does have bendable arms too. Bendable at the elbow, sweet. And his knees do bend and his hips, at least his thighs. But we do have these doll stands. Maybe I can just grab it around his waist and then have him do his like super cool, like he's jumping and then just kind of hold him in place like this. Do you have a lighter camera, Mom? We gotta light the fuse here. Let's light it. It's a one-time shot, guys. <laughs> Maybe we flick it with their fingernail. Oh, yeah!
Next, let's go ahead and do our Wasqui Wabbit. Uh, it's our Bugs Bunny. Z's Bugs Bunny with Acne Blaster 3000. Launch the blaster, load and launch. Fold over, pull out. My favorite character growing up with bugs. You didn't know this, guys, but they were brainwashing us back in the 50s and 60s, trying to get us through these cute little cuddly characters to eat vegetables. Remember, guys, even with Bugs Bunny, they tried to get us to listen to classical music, like the Barber of Seville. Mm-hmm. Mm. He's got his Toon Squad outfit, super cool. And he's got his little gray squirrel, gray squirrel, pushy, pushy tail. Hey, guess what, guys? I'm getting lucky. We're gonna have a few thumbs up. Hey, there's his rocket launcher. Let's put it in his hand. Oh, look, he's got a little uh, extension for his hand, just like LeBron. So maybe he can hold a basketball. Let's put it in there. So that's how you do it. You blast your enemies first, and then you make two points. Can he move his arms? Yeah, he can move his arms. Uh, his legs are stiff. He's not like LeBron, he's not flexible. Here we go, guys. Gives you a little bit here to flick and have that thing come shooting out. There we go, flickage in three, two, one. Ooh. If camera mom was in the way, that would have gone another two inches. Now we're gonna have a comparison. We're gonna see which one's the better one to get. The act, well, bugs went down a notch. This is the Acme 4000, this was a 3000. So this one shouldn't shoot as far. But it carries a big stick. Okay, let's see how far this one goes. Okay, so that one went about to camera mom's elbow there. We'll try this one. Oh, that one went like two more feet than our little rocket here. Because this has a little nodule on the back, um, LeBron James has it on the back as we already went over, but also his all-star's back. He can put it on his back as well. Uh, super cool. Interchangeable, right guys? These guys have holes at the bottom of their feet. Kind of like Funko Pop, some of them, where they can't stand on their own. But maybe that's not that because uh, maybe they got some more weapons in here that they can use, like Lola Bunny Springer shoes. Maybe they could all spring on those shoes. Maybe these weapons are interchangeable. Well, this one only LeBron can handle. The big rocket on the back. And then this one, hey, if you got four fingers and a posable thumb, let me point that the right way. It's pointing it at me. Or rather point it at you guys. <laughs> I say you guys, but his camera mommy's gonna get the bullet. <laughs> Okay, last but not least, guys, we got our Marvin the Martian. Oh, you make me so angry. I didn't like him when I was a kid because he wasn't hyper like me bouncing off the walls. The only thing that he had hyper on him was his blaster. He always was trying to blast people into smithereens, oblivion, whatever. But you know what? He's become an all-time favorite now. Our Marvin the Martian. So it's Marvin the Martian with spaceship. And there's his spaceship. There we go. And look at his little uh, ray gun. That's so cool. There we go. Look, it's a basketball. <laughs> ah, Marvin looks super cool. He's all colorful. Look at his little skirt. It ought to be called Marvina. Reminds me of the Jetsons, if you ever watched that show. And then he's got his little scrub brush, you know. It's what the uh, Romans used to wear. And look, so there's holes on his feet, right? And there's a little extension right here to put that into the hole of his foot. And maybe these other guys can ride on his spaceship too. Oh, that would make me so angry. Could be like the Mandalorian, like IG-11. You just go zoom. <laughs> and then he shoots the ball off here, poof, makes a basket. You know what, it's probably not safe to drive and shoot at the same time. We're gonna go ahead and put his hands around here. So maybe this is just more for decoration right there, right guys? So you can either have him on his floating ship as he's shooting his basket, or he could be off of it on the ground and blasting and be defense. Marvin, you make me so happy. Okay, now for our two action figures. And you can see with our LeBron James versus Kronos. So it says on court rivals LeBron James and Kronos. And you know what's funny? It comes with a little cooler. I thought you'd dump this over the coach when you win a game, you know. Who's he gonna dump it over? Or maybe they use this to actually smash somebody's head. You never know with the tune. Then on the back, and it says the same thing as we saw on the single packs. Welcome to the jam. And it shows you all the ones you can collect. Also available, the ones that we just opened in those single packs. So let's go ahead and open this up. First, the most important, our water cooler. Without that, is it functionable? Can I unscrew the top? Nope. Okay, first LeBron. He actually looks like, did we get duplicates here? They look the same, but this one is against Kronos. And you got the basketball with the hole, and Kronos actually has an extension on his right hand too, so he can hold the ball. They're really flexible, the arms, it can move out, rotate, the elbows rotate, the knees, the legs. 
So if those guys being the same, let's take a look more at our Kronos. What in the world is that? Some sort of Frisbee? Or maybe it's a solar panel so he gets more energy. <laughs> so he's gotta be in the sun. And he's got a hole in the back, so guys, you know what? If you wanna give him the rocket, hole's the same size, so you can go ahead and attach that rocket to his back. Can he actually hold this? Well, he's gonna be a little bit lopsided. <laughs> oh, there we go. Kronos, can I offer you a drink? Well, that's very kind of you. That's just a head scratcher. I don't know. Hey, you know what? Maybe they could sit down. Take a load off, LeBron. Okay, next, guys, we have the two pack with LeBron and. <laughs> On court rivals LeBron James and White Mamba. First, our basketball. Camera mom. Thank goodness I had these glasses. This is just cool. There we go. Same LeBron, right? With the rocket. All the same. So looks like LeBron takes on Kronos and he takes on our La Mamba. Wow. She's got quite the snaky back. That's pretty cool. Very textured. Okay, so she does have a protrusion from her right hand so she can hold the ball. And you know what? That would have been cool if she could extend and boom, slam it. And so her arms, they bend, but not at the elbow. Oh, and her torso twist, that's cool. And next, we got Lola Bunny versus Wet Fire. It says, on court rivals Lola Bunny and Wet Fire, and she's got her acne spring shoes. And look at that goon right there. This one I think is really colorful. I mean, look at that basketball for wet fire. And it's on fire. That basketball should melt. Just enough to make two points and then game over. You see how the fire's coming down? It's like a jet. And look, he's got the back here too. You can put that rocket on the back if he wants. Where does the fire come from? I mean, the basketball, so what he touches turns on fire. Otherwise, you're just looking at some wet dude, just nothing but water. I'd like to find out in the movie how he operates, his superpowers, and he bends at the elbow, at the arms, they move. No knees, just the legs where he can bend. And then Lola. Lola, she is a bunny. She plays for her tunes against those lagoons. And when she likes to jam, she knows how to slam with her shoes. Look at that. Bungie, 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 bungie. On her left hand instead of her right, and we'll give her, can she touch fire? Cool. We're gonna put the good guys over here and the evil goons over here. Oh, speaking of which guys, look at my shirt. Hey, super cool, tunes versus goons. Let's get to the last one right here. It's our Arn Court rivals, Tasmanian Devil and the Brow. And look, his wings expand. Guys, I think when you buy the two packs here, I think you get more for your money by getting these guys, because look at it, ounce for ounce, you get more plastic. They're bigger. Oh no! <laughs> I broke it, but his yapper moves. Like and subscribe. Whoa, look at that. It really opened. I thought I broke it again. Look at that. That's super cool. I wonder if we can get the ball into his head. Oh. Okay, so let's see. It fits. It's a keeper, our Taz. That's super cool. Taz, this of all of these guys, he's my favorite. Now for Pro Magna Man. Oh, his wings do flap. Oh, cool. Oh man, that really spreads, guys. You see that? That's super cool. And it goes all the way back. So he's coming in for landing, you know. Wings up. Oh, that's, that's awesome. I'm telling you, this is my favorite right here, guys. You get more action out of him, especially when he's flying, you know. I don't know, just like uh, Marvel's Falcon. Super cool, coming in like that. And man, that dude has got the brows like none other. And you notice this on his wings. He's got extensions. That's right, so he can hold a bee ball. So that's how he's gonna make his basket. It's cool. Look at that. He can even go down like this. And then he just folds up. That's pretty cool. I like his wings. Super awesome. So 
So guys, out of all these, which one is your favorite? My favorite is the brow here with his wings. I mean, you can flap and Tasmanian Devil. Always a winner here, guys. Please click on one of these videos for more events and fun.